I was basically born into it. I was born in Austria, and my father and my grandfather had a factory, small workshop, where they produced handbags. But they started three generations ago. As a young boy, I used to work in my father's workshop, play with glue and materials. And at the age of 14, I was sent to Vienna to a design school. It was a very exciting time. We learned a lot, we saw a lot in the big city. From there, I did my master degree and I came to South Africa. And I was employed in, in the number one company at the time as a designer and production manager. We started our own company and that is Viola Moda. We make wallets to a very high standard, we make handbags and we make belts. What we stand for is to make value for money. The bags we produce are based on traditional methods. Uh, there's a lot of handcrafting involved, a lot of precision needed. It's very exact and we specialized over the years to work in exotic materials. So our specialty however lies in ostrich because it's from South Africa. We also use Nile crocodile which comes from the African region. Both of these materials are very exotic, hard wearing and very nice to work with it. On the farming side, I do not know all that much. It's, I'm a handbag maker. But obviously all these animals are farm raised, uh, raised for the specific purpose of using the meat and the skin and the feathers. So nothing goes to waste. There are some tanneries in South Africa which produce world-class ostrich. We're using a tannery called Scott in Mossel Bay. Amongst other people, they supply Gucci, Hermes, and Delvaux, and some very well-known European manufacturers. So we're in good hands. We are working with the Nile crocodile, which is indigenous to the African region. Let me explain the way how it is cut. You would cut it on the center of the belly and open it up you get what you call the horn back. Horn and back. Alternatively, if you cut it along the hard part, you would cut it along here, then you would get the belly cut. You will see all defects much easier on the belly than you would see them on the horn. Also, this is soft and the horn is quite hard. This is a full ostrich skin. Here you can see the crown area or aquil area. We have the wings and there it goes to the legs. Right on top would be the neck. Mainly used for the outsides is the crown area and the plain pieces you need for handles, bottoms, pipings. You use everything. To see whether or not this is genuine, you just have to look at one quill and you will notice there's a very fine small hole. This is where the feather has grown through. Designing is a little bit like dating. You never know what comes out. First of all, you have to visualize what it is you want to make. For what purpose, for what age group, for what type of woman. And you have to be able to see the finished product before it exists. And then you bring your ideas to paper. And from the paper section, you then, you do the first sample prototype, whereby you decide what type of skin you use, what type of material is actually suited for that type of bag. Because you cannot just make any bag from any material. It has to make sense. It has to look great. It has to adapt to the material, to what the material is able to do for you or not. Once you have decided what is good and what is not so good, then you choose obviously the good side and you make one. Welcome to the receiving and the planning room. Here is where we receive the material. Then after we have seen that this is the right quality which we need, that is the texture of the skins, the stretching of it and the quill 
size which you, we will be able to use. Then we will keep it for, the, for our use. After that, I will have to take those skins which I've selected to be the best one. I have to nurse them or to plan them. Due to the fact that the material is rather expensive, you have to utilize every little inch of what's available. That is the most important part in making it efficient. I will use the, what is called the perspex. The perspex, they represent the pattern. That is only used for marking. What I have marked, then the cutter will have to follow those lines. We have got about uh, 10 cutters. Some of them, they are cutting by hand. Some are using what is called a clicking press. And from the cutting, it goes into skiving and preparation. In this department, we are divided into three sections, the on-split and the specific splitting and the skiving. The on-split will only take off the fluff on the outside of the material. And on the specific splitting, we split precisely as required by the pattern. On the skiving, we reduce the thickness on the edges in such a way when we fold or aim or join the piece together, they don't look crooked, they look very nice. It's quite a process to get all these things done. However, we can put them into little kits, and when the orders are put together properly, they then march onto the table and get assembled. In the process of stitching, what you do is we join a small component until it is finished, go stitching, staining. From the assembling, obviously it goes between stitching and staining, polishing. There's a number of actions which are needed. And when the article eventually comes to an end, we put on the hardware, we put on the locks, we fit handles, etc. And then it goes to final inspection and cleaning. The final process at Viala Moda is quality control and dispatch. We do an online check of the goods while they're in production until to the end. I also do the dispatch to make sure that all the goods are dispatched to the customers in good time and in good quality. There's continuous quality control throughout the process. However, the final inspection is the most cruel one because no article should come back. And a client should only come back because he was happy. I really love what I'm doing. It gives me great pleasure to dream out something that doesn't exist then beautiful women are wearing my bags. And it's just expressing what I've been trained for and what I'm good at. It's great pleasure to do it. It's not a job, it's not just a craft, it's, it's my life.